Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fairy Signs Tarot. I hope everyone's fabulous. If you're new to my little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Hey Aries, it's finally your turn for your first half of May reading. I apologize for the delay, and um, I'm sorry you guys had to go last, but well, you went first last cycle. In fact, the entire month of April, so two cycles, you guys went first. And I have to be fair. I'm sorry. You know I love you. I really do. If I wasn't a Sagittarius, you guys would be my favorite fire sign. Just saying. Anywho, we're going to throw down your cards. This reading will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, well, okay. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do. It's a message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay, too. It's not going to resonate with every Aries. It's a general reading. If it just doesn't resonate, it's just not your story. And again, that's okay. Just forget you ever saw it. Just throw it out. Walk away. It's that easy. Really, it is. Or you can check your Moon Rising or Venus sign readings if you haven't done that already. Just keep in mind that time and energy are both fluid and all things can be, but vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And if you're a cross watcher popping in for Aries, God, I feel you. I did it for like a year and a half. I finally had to walk away from that though because I just, I couldn't hold on to that connection anymore. I, I had to just cleanse myself of it. I missed the man terribly though. He was the love of my life. Anywho, enough about me. Three more shuffles, and we're going to throw it down for Aries. Ah! I got poppers. Three of one, or sorry, the three of cups tried to pop out. Keep that in mind. Let's see if it comes back out. You know, I have to check it. Sorry. Weird, but okay. All right. It's work. It, it's the bread and butter job. A lot of chaos going on up in there right now. And I'm third in command, and I live the closest out of anybody who actually gives a crap. So, you know, I constantly check the phone just in case the place is burning down like it was last time I had to stop in the middle of reading cards and run down there. All right, why are you here? <clears throat> Justice could possibly be a Libra you're dealing with might be a legal matter or something of that nature but it it speaks of balance it speaks of fairness so okay we'll see what the rest of the cards have to say Aries how do you feel about the person you're dealing with three of Pentacles you feel like the foundation is there for something abundant okay you feel like it's coming together maybe they've got themselves together nice start to a little bank account maybe they're burning the midnight oil a little bit um what do you think of them two of cups in the reverse the connection uh, it's iffy One or the other of you may not feel the connection as strongly. It's kind of like a lover's card. And I'm not calling that a complete disconnect at this point until I get a clarifier on it. They could be disconnecting from something themselves. We'll see. Okay, what do you want from them? Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Err? Now I'm confused. Okay. It 
definitely going to throw a clarifier on this because some you don't want something to come to completion. You don't want something to come to fruition for them. And now I got to try to figure out why. Okay. Um, how do they feel about you? Seven of Wands. Ooh. You could be fighting an inner demon. They feel like you constantly struggle for control. Swinging at things that aren't there, possibly. What do they think of you? Five of Pentacles. They might think you left them out in the cold. They feel like you, like, dusted them. Money might be a little bit sketch. Hmm. What do they want from you? Ace of Pentacles. A new start in abundance. Oh, wow. Oh, Aries, what is going on? I don't like it when you guys confuse me. I've been confused by enough Aries energy in my life. I don't like it when you guys confuse me. What's the challenge? Two of Swords in the reverse. No matter what you do, somebody's going to get hurt. Are we going back here again, Aries? Because this is reminding me of a reading from a few months back. If you guys have been watching the channel long enough, you might remember this. No matter what decision you make, somebody's going to get hurt. Okay. What can be done? Three of swords. You got to break a heart. Okay. You got to break a heart. Projected outcome, eight of wands, communication, forward movement. All right, let's get some clarity for my Aries brothers and sisters. Universe, source, and spirits. Can I get some clarity on the cards and the table for Aries for the first half of May, please? If I can get these things to shuffle. All right. I didn't even say anything yet. I didn't ask for clarity on anything. The death reversed and the five of swords reversed popped out. Something isn't dead. Feelings didn't die. Something didn't change. Someone is unable to pick up pieces. 
it's hard to say who's who because when they go flying out before I ask the cards a question, that this mystifies me a little bit. So I'm going to set these over here, see where they play in. Okay. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? That's an answer. The Tower. <clears throat> How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? A coming together, a foundation. You feel like this is this is gonna be a disaster. Or at the very least it's going to shake things up a little bit if this comes together. Why is the Two of Cups reversed here? The Prince of Cups. You think the connection isn't mutually strong. You you possibly think they're non-committal. Okay. Why is the Ten of Pentacles reversed here for what Aries wants from the other person? Prince of Pentacles reversed. I'm going to throw in a clarifier on that. But they don't want something to complete. They don't. They want something to grind to a halt. You want something to grind to a halt. You don't want something to come to completion. Strength reversed. You want them to hold back. Hang back. Hold back. Hold back what? of wands. Making a decision. Letting go of something and moving forward towards something else. You know I could beat this card to death, right? I, I really could. You don't want them to go through with something. You, you want them to hold back. You want them to stop. But you, you want them to let go of something and move forward with something else. Dare I ask what else? One more, and then I'm moving on to the next card. King of Cups reversed flew out. You want them to hold back emotions. You, you want them... Okay, we're moving on to the next card. Why is the Two of Swords reversed here? Thanks. Lovers reversed. The 
the challenge here is an impossible decision to make. The lack of strength in a connection. One more. The Hierophant reversed. Disconnected and blessed union. You remember that reverse three of cups that tried to pop out? I should have grabbed it when it popped out. Hmm. Legal matter. Divorce, possibly? Why is the Seven of Wands here? Two of Swords. Wow. Oh my gosh. Fighting an inner demon. Fighting an enemy you can't see. Fighting with yourself. Impossible decisions. Blind decisions. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? King of Pentacles reversed. Nothing to offer. Being left out in the cold. The re revocation of an offer. They think you're going to bolt. They may think that they're going to get left out in the cold because you don't have enough to offer them. I'm able to pick up pieces, things not changing. If this comes together, it's going to be catastrophic and a game changer. They want you to, to hold back emotions and not go through with something else. Somebody in this situation has a third party involved. I don't know if it's Aries or the other person, but wow. Aries, I think the other person involved has an opportunity for a new start elsewhere and you don't want him to go through with it. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Too many. Sorry, no. Try again. Temperance reversed. They want to go off into new new ventures and do new things and go after a new connection that is more abundant because the energy flow here is not okay. It's not equal. It's not fair. They could possibly be impatient with you. Three of Cups reversed. They want to put an end to a third party situation. Wow, Aries. Holy Moses. Okay. Why is the Three of Swords here? We already know somebody's got to get their heart broke. 
Tell me more. One more. You want to talk. High Priestess reversed. The ultimate disconnect. One more. Someone being egotistical. The ultimate disconnect. The 5D not playing out in the 3D. Nine of Pentacles, someone deciding to be independent, go off on their own, do their own thing. Someone finding their independence in a situation, somebody getting their heart broke. It's got to happen. Uh, it's hard to tell who's getting their heart broke, though. It's hard to tell who's the one breaking hearts. Aries, you already feel like this is going to be catastrophic if it comes together. But they just want to get out of a third-party situation and get into a situation that's better for them because there's a lot of negative energy flow going on here. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Hey, I wasn't there. Don't look at me. I'm just reading cards. I wasn't even there. Two of Pentacles reverse. Someone emotionally juggling. This isn't communication. This is fast forward movement. This is. Drop mic. It's over. Ace of Cups. New starts in love. Possibly elsewhere. All right, let, Aries, let's get your advice because this was just crazy energy. Oh my gosh. Temperance reversed and the Seven of Cups. a lot of confusion and a lot of chaos here a lot of negative energy and I don't think you need this to be an option just close this off as an option as long as the energy is so chaotic just don't even give it a second look page of pentacles and the nine of wands They're both reversed, by the way. Don't give this one last push. I think you need to maintain your barriers. Maintain a distance. Just lay the weapons down. Don't fight it. Don't argue it. Just... Until they're ready to come with an apology, if that is what needs to happen here, just you need to just let this grind to a halt. Just you are in too vulnerable a state at this point to even mess with this. Just don't. And the Fool and the Knight of Cups. If there is even one little smidge of something you do not trust about this, don't jump. Don't jump. Don't, don't, don't even communicate. Just don't. 
<laughs> until energy flow becomes more positive and there's less confusion and somebody feel, wants to come back with an apology, if there's apologies to be had, don't do anything with it. Just, just walk away. Ten of Pentacles in the upright, King of Wands reversed. Yes, you are definitely better off not moving forward with this. You need you need to concentrate on the things that matter at this point. Putting money in the bank, paying your bills, taking care of your family. Whatever you gotta do. But do not move forward with this. Seven of Pentacles reversed, Emperor reversed. There is no growth here. I don't even think waiting for it to see how it's going to play out is going to do you any justice. I, I really don't. I think the scales are as, as even as they're going to get at this point until the other person decides what they want to do. But in all honesty, I think minds are made up here. For now. For now. People change. Things change. But th this will not serve you. You need to concentrate on becoming a better you. And you cannot become a better you if you continue to wait for this connection. Okay, Aries, I love you guys. Yours are wonderful. Yours are beautiful. I'm grateful for all my area subscribers. I'm grateful for everyone who took the time to watch this reading tonight. Let me know if it made sense. Drop a comment. Send me an email. I freaking love emails. I, I will sit and read emails all day. I really will. And if you're in need of a personal reading, if this resonated even a little bit and you kind of want to dive in a little bit deeper, hit me up. Uh, starting Monday, May 11th, I will totally be open for personal readings again. I just need to take a little bit of a break from it because I've been very bogged down. So between personals and channel readings and my regular job and trying to maintain the sanity in my family, I'm a little bit drained. I'm a little tired. I need a couple days. Okay? I need a few days. <laughs> just let me get through Mother's Day. <laughs> okay? I love you guys. Be blessed. Thank you. And I will catch you guys for the work week top and bottom in just a little bit. Unless you already watched it, which you could very well have because I keep forgetting that I'm recording these for YouTube.